Hey everybody, Gentlemate here. So, MMOs have always been something that I've really wanted to get into. I've always loved the idea of an MMO, having a fantasy world, a massive fantasy world that you can jump into and play with real people, interact with real people, and go and, you know, fight dragons and cast spells in a world where you're able to interact with others has been always been amazing. And MMOs always have these massive worlds with lots of real people in them. And the MMO that has like ruled over them all, the one that has indisputably been at the top of the list, despite all of the drama and complaining that's been going on, has been World of Warcraft. Um, so despite all of this wanting to get into MMOs and wanting to be an MMO player, I have never really been able to get into it. I've never really been able to take the time to commit. Um, however, yesterday I created an MMO character, got him to level 5, and so I just figured, you know what, well, let's go all in. So I, I found this random te multiple choice test online, and I wanted to kind of see, as somebody who has only had an outsider's perspective of World of Warcraft, how I would do um, in this test. You know, I uh, will totally, completely screw it up, but hey, let's do it. So, oh, there we go. What is the name of the mate of Harakoa? Harakoa sounds like a, I don't know, an orc or something. I don't know. Fantasy names are always hard. But there is an apostrophe here, so maybe the next other one will have an apostrophe as well. Lokunahak. Hey! <laughs> I got it right. <laughs> Apostrophe, people. Let's do it. All right. What was the name of the once benevolent spiritual leader in Stormwind City that sided with Deathwing? Ooh. Well, if we go simply by the name Deathwing, it could be Shadowbreaker. But he was once benevolent, so Arthur the Faithful. And is Stormwind City is that is that the one the starting one for humans or whatever? As you can tell, I, I know about World of Warcraft, but I don't know about World of Warcraft. Um, I'm going to go with Arthur the Faithful, because he was once benevolent. Oh, Benedictus. I, I looked at that one. I looked at it, yeah. That was definitely going to be my second guess. Mm -hmm. What is the name of the bridge that connects the Arathi Highlands and the Wetlands? Ooh, um, um, well, the Highlands... Was, are probably high, and the wetlands are probably wet. Um, so, uh, I think, I'm just guessing here, but I think the second word is spam. Um, uh, well, it connects, so it's probably not severed. Maybe the Vandal span. Hey! <laughs> Which of the following is not an orc clan? Um, I think, let's see, the Frostwolf clan, the Bloodfang clan, the Warsong clan, I just, and the Dragon Maw clan. Well, all of these describe an animal or an animal part, but Warsong doesn't. So, let's go with Warsong. Oh! I didn't, I didn't get a chance to read what the answer was. Um... Razor Mane and Bristleback are two feuding tribes of which race? Um, well, I mean, Razor Mane, Bristleback, Quill, Boar. Has to be that one, right? Hey, that was easy. Who was the brother of Varok, Saurfane, and the only orc to fight in the War of the Ancients? The brother of Varok, Saurfane. Hmm, I wonder if they would have the same last name. I don't know. No, they don't. Oh, okay. All right, well, so far so good. I've gotten three right out of seven. Six, I guess. In Zandali, the language of the trolls. What does Atar I mean? Um, uh, it's not capitalized. So I, I don't know. 
Oh, these are all kind of like titles, so the capitalization doesn't really matter. Um, it, uh, there's lots of A's in it? I don't know. There's an A in this one. So let's do it. Oh, devoted ones? Interesting. What are the final words from this headless horseman quote? It is over. Your search is done. Let fate choose now. Um. Oh, let fate choose now the delightful one, the mighty one, the righteous one, the rightful one. Let fate choose now. It's kind of, the rightful one kind of fits the vibe. So, the right, no! Let fate choose now the righteous one. Which son of an alliance? I know what that means. I know what an alliance is. What the alliance is. An alliance trader would one day become a leader of the syndicate. I don't know what the syndicate is. Um. Hmm. Um, well, Aiden sounds like the name of a son. So I'm going to go with Aiden. Oh, Aladdin. Well, I was. I had the A right. Which paladin was not among the five when the Silver Hand was originally created? Um, mm, that's a tough one, you know, because there were five, and one of them wasn't amongst them. Um, paladin, Alexandro sounds like a paladin name. Uther does too, though. Maybe they're all paladins, and this, some of them were among the five. Alexandros! Hey, there we go. Four out of eleven, not, or out to ten, not too bad. Which night elf was appointed the jailer of Illidan's storm rage? Hmm, a night elf. Shadow song. I feel like it's gonna be. You know, this is just my test taking skills in here. Um, I feel. Oh, I can't. Let me. Let me this out of the way. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. Boom. That was all. Okay. Which night elf was appointed the jailer of Illidan's storm rage? I feel like uh, pure test taking skills are saying that it's a shadow song. So is it Jared or Maev? I feel it. Gerard or Maev? Um. Maev. Hey! There we go. What dragon appears in the human guise of Lord Victor and Nefarious? Ooh, Nefarian. That would make sense. Because Nefarious, Nefarian. Yeah, let's do that one. Hey, very intelligent change naming. Nefarious, Nefarian. Who would have guessed? Um, what Pandaria creatures are the embodiments of negative emotions, including doubt, despair, and anger? Ooh. Um, well, Mantid sounds like Prey Mantis, and they pray, so probably not that one. Ho Zen sounds like Frozen, you know, and cold being frozen is bad, unless it's like pizza. But I don't think they're talking about pizza here. Um, let's go with Ho Zen. Oh, it was Sha! Of course, I should have gotten that one. What pit lord was the ruler of Outland before being imprisoned by Illidan Stormrage? Um, uh, the pit lord. Um, well, Manoroth? No. Magtheridon. Magtheridon? Magtheridon? Um, that sounds like a pit lord kind of a name. You know, I just think Magtheridon and I think pit lord. So, yes! Uh, what is Grummel's most prized personal possession? Uh, Grummel, huh? What is Grummel's most prized personal possession? Probably not a yak. I think it's probably not, it's a thing, so probably not a pet. I th a lucky do, a lucky don't, or a backpack? I feel like it's a lucky do or a lucky don't. Um. I'm gonna say a lucky do. Yes! Because who would who would have a lucky who would have a prized possession that's called the lucky don't? King Crush, King Mosh, and King Dread are all what types of creature? Um Hmm. Hmm, King Mosh. Kinda sound 
king. I think it's an ogre. Um, yeah, let's go with ogre. Nope, Devil Star. That was my second guess, honestly. I was, I was definitely going to pick that one as my second guess. What is the name of the red dragon whose skull is on display in the Hall of Explorers? Tyranastras? Baelastras? Afrasastras? Or Kaelstras? Um, um, probably, well, is this a good thing or a bad thing? I feel like since he's dead, it's a bad thing. So I'm bad, like tyranny, tyrannical, or ve venom, ve ve ve. I'm going to go with this one. Hey, there we go. Easy to read. I know World of Warcraft like the back of my hand. Bloodfeather, Windfury, and Witchwing are all types of witch race. Um, Bloodfeather and Wing. Hippogriffs have wings, right? And Wind? I'm going to say Hippogriff. Oh, Harpy. Harpies have wings too. Why didn't I even think of that? What was the name of the human who helped Thrall escape his imprisonment in Durnhold Keep? Um, who's Thrall, and where is Dernold Keep? But he's a human. We can go off of that. So very, it's a human-sounding name. So probably Arthas or Jaina. I, I, those ones seem human-ish. I think Jaina Proudmore, the last name, sounds human-ish. No, not even one of the ones I thought I was guessing from. Who became the Lich King after Arthas was defeated? Darian Mograin, Terranos Menethil II, Bolvar for Dragon, Tyrion for Dream. I feel like it's one of these because they both start with four. Tyrion for Dream, or Bolvar for Dragon. I think it's Tyrion for Dream. No, it's the other one! It has Dragon in the name, of course. Who became Ragnaros II? Major Domo protecting the entrance of Sulfuron Keep in the Firelands. Major Domo, well, I think it starts with Major Domo. Um, Ragnaros is second. Uh, don't pick this one because there's an apostrophe and there's no apostrophe in his name. So, what about Executus? Oh, it was Staghelm. Which Alliance city located in Darkshore was destroyed by Deathwing's return? Um, hmm, that's a tough one, considering that it's a city. Um, uh, Aberdeen sounds familiar, so I, I feel like I probably heard that somewhere. Grove of the Ancients? Or Lodanel? Um, I'm going to go with, uh, Amatharam. Oh, it was Aberdeen. Dang it. Before the Cataclysm, where could the remains of Mancrick's Man wife be found? Woman Cricks? Um, the, um, the, the Barons. These all seem like people. Thousand Needles seems like a Pokemon move. So, the Barons. Yes! Which of the following is not a possible result from drinking a Noggin Fogger Elixir? Um, become skeletal. Oh, you breathe, you can't breathe fire by drinking a noggin fogger elixir. I don't even want it now. What goblin trading company is known for plundering the natural resources of Azeroth? The one of these two, I think, because it has a company in the name. Kajaro Trading Company or Venture Company? I don't think it's this one. Venture is too modern a word. Kajaro Trading Company. No, it was Venture. Dang it. Which arm and which eye did Zul'jin lose during his captivity and eventual escape? Hmm, hmm, hmm. The choices. These are probably the same choices that I would put, too. I'm going to say left arm, right eye. I mean, right eye, left arm. Hey! <laughs> Total guess there. What is the highest rank that can be bestowed upon a night elf watcher? 
Zendigo or Keeper or Warden. Um, Sentinel sounds official. Oh, Warden! Who was the first to leave Pandaria in the back of this on the back of the sea turtle Shenzinsu? Well, there's a Z in there. There's a Z in this one, and it kind of sounds the same. Shenzinsu, Shenzin, Shin, Shinizi, Shin, Shinizi, Shinizi. Who was the first to leave Pandaria on the back of the sea turtle? Shinizi on the back of Shenzu. I don't think that works. Maybe Li Yulang, Li Li Stormstone. Xiao Hao? Liu La. Hey! Which musical trinket could be used to invoke spontaneous dancing in others against their will? Ooh. Piccolo of the Flaming Fire, Sunlute of the Phoenix King, Haunted War Drum, or Flute of the Ancients? Hmm. Now, why would the Ancients want to have somebody dance in against their will? What about the haunted wardrobe? That sounds spooky. Oh, it was Piccolo of the Flaming Fire. The night elves and the dragonflies stood against the armies of the Hiraji in what war? Mm, war of the... I think it War of the Ancients because I don't think it's War of the Seder. I think night elves and dragons flights would fight in the War of the Seder. Oh, it was War of the Shifting Sands. Okay, that was, that was a pretty good name too. Which apothecary cannot be found in Shadowfang Keep during the Love is in the Air event? Hmm. Um, probably Copeland. Copeland? Copeland. Probably. I'm getting Copeland. I'm just getting the vibes that he's not a fan of love. Just from that name. I don't know why. If your name is Copeland and you're watching this, deepest apologies. I'm sure love is amazing for you. But this one's just getting the vibes. And I was right. <laughs> which is the first of this? Which of the which? What? What was the name of the first pendulum to ever tame a cloud serpent? Ooh, Jiang, Jiang. I think it's Jiang. I think it's Jiang. Hey, I'm not so bad. And call me a professional here. This cult was affiliated with the Orcus Shadow Council and included members such as Nagaz and Marez Cowell. Um, cult. It's a cult. The Cabal. Um, I want to say that. The Cabal. No, Argus Wake. What in the name? What? Why is it called Argus Wake? That's such a weird name for a cult. Crow Threadstrong continually threatened what specific type of vendor in Shatra City? Mmm. Mmm. Why? Fruit vendor. Cabbages! Hey, I was right! Who was Jaina Proudmore's mentor in Kirin Tor? Oh, I know that name. Uh, she was not the one that rescued the lady. I think, was it a lady? There was some sort of rescuing that was a human, and it was done by somebody. And it wasn't Jane of Proudmore, because I picked that one. But who was her mentor in not rescuing the people? Um, and being human, but not rescuing. Well, maybe she's not human. I don't know. Uh, the Keating Tor. Um, I Anto Antonidas sounds like a mentor name. Maybe these are all real people. I don't know, I mean game people, NPCs, but I don't know. Antonidas. Yes! I'm a natural. Yes, you can ask me any of your World of Warcraft questions in the comments below. And I will be able to totally answer them. What is the name of the desert that surrounds the caverns of time? Ooh, Desolus. Tenaris. Silas. Ooh. Desolus seems pretty. I mean, desolate. Desolate? Maybe? Desolus, though? That's so weird. That's tough. What was it? Okay, I'm going to not guess it. It's going to be right. Hold them. I'm going to hold them. Oh, it was Tenaris. What was the name of the human that, that kept Thrall as a slave in Durnhold Keep? Hey, isn't Thrall the one that the human that wasn't Jaina Proudmore rescued? 
I'll be a lore master yet. Um. Uh. Dabble Prester. That sounds like a human that would keep thralls as light and durable to keep. No, it's Adelus Blackmore. And the other one has a more too, but it was Proud More. Any relation? I wonder. What phrase means safe journey in the language of the Draine? Draine? Now watch me with. Now watch me Draine. Um. Safe journey. Well, which one makes me feel the safest? Archal Hector? Dionys Aka? Ar Achion Kor? Or Hect Korta? Achion Kor. I feel safe hearing that. Probably means, like, I don't know, go battle a behemoth or something. Before succumbing to magical addition, ooh, as opposed to magical subtraction? Or magical division? The wretched were once members of which race? The wretched. Humans. Wretched, are those like zombies? Zombies are usually human before they become zombies, right? No, they were blood elves. Dang it. Who was the Naga lieutenant of Illidan and once handmaiden of Queen Azshara? I'm asking you. Do you know the answer? What is the answer? Tell me. Tell me. What is it? You're right. It's totally delicious. Oh, you were wrong. It wasn't delicious. That's what I get for listening to you. Where was Delaron originally located in the Eastern Kingdoms? Hmm, probably Sue Hillsbrad. Probably. Dalaran probably was originally located in Hillsbrad Foothills. You know, probably. Hey! I knew that. I knew that. Which orc was responsible for opening open I know how to say that word. Opening numerous portals on Draenor and shattering the orc homeworld. Um Um Hmm Probably Skartox. I think he seems like the kind of orc responsible for that thing. Nope, it was Nerzul. Dang it. I had such faith in Skartox, or whatever his name was. What area was reshaped by goblins to resemble the symbol of the Horde? Mulgar. No! Ash Azshara. Well, folks, 50, I got a 40%, which is a lot better than I expected. I thought I'd get like 2%. So, y'all doubted me, and I totally came through and got an F. But I didn't get worse than an F. So, yeah, there. Bye!